In this presentation, you will learn about cultural dualism as used by Simone de Beauvoir to look at the position of women. It forms part of the theories on gender and development. The theory of cultural dualism may be attributed to Simone de Beauvoir, who uses it to explain women's secondary status in society. According to her, the origin of women's subordinate status lies partly in her relationship to nature and partly in nature's relationship to culture. Human societies have a universal opposition between nature and culture. Human beings, by their very constitution, make great efforts at overcoming the limits of nature through culture. In the process of attempting to control nature, man is more free than woman who is naturally restricted in this by her tasks of reproduction and sustaining life. At the same time, man cannot live without woman, just as he cannot do away with nature. As a result, man regards woman with contradictory and opposed feelings. He reverses her and also degrades her. He wishes to control her, but also refrains from completely squashing her creativity. In some cultures, such as Hindu culture, this ambivalence is all prevalent. In some others, women do play a dominant role in regulating nature and sexual behavior. In evaluating such dualistic theory, it must be accepted that there are some universals in the social and cultural position of women across all known societies. However, such a theory does not throw much light on the question of women and society as it pays little attention to differences of fundamental patterns of human existence, nor is it concerned with change. Thank you for watching the presentation. Do like, share, subscribe and leave your comments about this presentation or any other topics you would like to learn more about.